Welcome back to Ginswitz at the Hastings yes. in Greenville on Wesley Street. Yes. Um, we were just held at gunpoint until yes, we had to we say were. that. <laughs> Isn't that bad. weird? They, weird. They like sponsorships are scary and, yeah, things. They, they expect stuff. What's up with that? <laughs> oh. I expect stuff too. I, I'm going to walk out of here with some stuff and <laughs> they're just going to have to look the other way. <laughs> we're kidding. We would yeah, never, never do such a thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, right. before we get started with this, I was going to plug a, You're gonna a plug few something. things. Yeah. Uh, I know we've been talking about this. We, we've mentioned it before. The uh, Dance Dance Revolution, DDR, they're going to have a tournament here at Hastings on the 20th of December. Let me get these dates right. They hold it every other Wednesday from 7 to 9, and it's going to be on so the it's this week. 29th. Okay. Yes, this Wednesday. It's going to be on December the 13th, and then the 20th. Are they dancing to this music? Yes. Okay. No. No. And yeah. uh, they're going to they're gonna have the big old blowout tournament on the 20th, and it uh, should be loads of fun. There's going to be a prize for the uh, different categories. If you're a beginning the beginner, there's a beginner's category, so you can just kind of show up. So and if I you, could show up and play? You could. If it's your first time, you could win something. Like, I think it's just a gift so, certificate. Could I win one of these clocks? You could, in essence, because you, the gift certificate you would win could buy that. Maybe something else, too. That's super. Anything else to plug? No? I got nothing. Well, let's, uh, you've got the box office numbers. Let's do that. Yeah, all right. Uh, rundown this week. Number one, once again. Number one and number two didn't change this week. The Isn't same old, same old. Happy Feet and Casino Royale. Happy Feet's a movie about penguins in the wild that yes. are um, happy about their feet. Can you see my feet on there? Is there There's no audio. There's no audio? That's never good. Can you hear us? That, but is there is there no audio meter? Is that what the no problem is? Oh, okay. oh, hit the audio level button. It's on the back of the camera. Like, yeah, on your side, yeah. This is great TV right here. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> now we're it's good. It's a good moment. <laughs> Outstanding. All right. But, um, so we got Happy Feet and Casino Royale holding down the two top spots. And, uh, this is a big weekend for movies because the Thanksgiving holidays, kicking off the holiday season. Uh, of course, Christmas time, there's a lot of people go see the movies. Um, and there was a, a couple of new movies that cracked the top five this week. Deja Vu, Disney movie. It's a Disney movie? It was put out by Disney. Oh, okay, but now, yeah, it's say. not really a Disney movie. Not your uh, typical Disney movie. No, not, not really. And that got okay reviews. Yeah, it did all right. But it would finish in the uh, third spot. Deck the Halls, which got horrid reviews. Uh, finish number four, and I mean, I don't think you, you all you had to see was the commercials to figure that out. I don't think really? you needed to turn it into like see the six percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Isn't it the unofficial sequel to uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's classic holiday hit Jingle, Jingle All the Way? Yes, I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. It's taking parroting real life Christmas holiday mm -hmm. materialism. Is that is that what it is? I don't know, man. Like that was just so deep right now. Yeah, it was really. I, I just wasn't ready for it. I just What's up, it. man? See, I know people here. Yeah, you know some people. And then, of course, <laughs> finish out the top five was Borat. Just pulled in another cool ten mil, so not bad. Borat's the best. <laughs> I wanted to. No, I want to. I want to see that movie so bad you again. Just <laughs> you just look. At, Borat's the best. <laughs> What's the name of the movie? Hey, uh, make sure you give a. Very Borat, uh, cultural learnings of America, of America for make for benefit, make benefit of the glorious nation of Kazakhstan. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I saw another great movie. This this actually went. You you told me last week. You said do not yep. go to the movies on Thanksgiving. This is the worst possible day to go to the movies, and I ignored you because I wanted and, to see a movie. You had success. Yeah. Majestic Twelve was pretty uh, light. It was like nine o'clock at night, and. Uh, we went and saw uh, Casino Royale, and which is ironic because out of the two of us, you're the James Bond fan. I could care less about James Bond, and uh, I'm just not big on uh -huh. the cheesy factor. Yeah. I just never grew up with that, uh, so I can't appreciate it. 
but this one was like hardcore good. good. Like, yeah, uh, I could appreciate it just as an average movie goer. Uh -huh. I didn't have to know a lot about the James Bond thing. And, yeah, you didn't have uh, to get into it. But it was, it was, it was like Batman Begins uh -huh. was for the Batman franchise. It erased all the cheesiness and all the stupidity of the franchise and started over fresh with like a more realistic modern story. Um, it helps that it's the first one. I mean, it was the first book. Yeah. It was the first, yeah. you know, was when how James Bond came it to dra be. So. It drags a little bit towards the end, that's right um, but that's okay. Um, I mean, that's no big deal. Uh, it kind of ruins the DVD factor. What did you think about old blonde Bond? How Daniel like Craig's it? the man. I loved him in uh, Layer Cake. Uh -huh. So he didn't have to do much to prove himself. So to it me. just it but rock and roll. I don't, me. I don't see. I don't look at James Bond and say, "Oh, that's Sean Connery or that's yeah. uh, Pierce Brosnan." I don't really care. So Daniel Craig didn't have to do much to prove it to me. Typical James Bond fan. Oh. But I'm, I'm. I said I'd go with you again. I did like the movie enough to go see it again. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna go see it again with you, hopefully soon, if you need me to do that, because you need to see this movie. Yeah. I mean. You should have seen it already, in fact. I don't know why I haven't. Yeah. So, what Failure. we could do, though, is you go see Casino Royale, and then I'll go next door to Borat. Terry's looking weird at me. Why? I don't know. Kind of Is there scared. a buzzer on his seat or something? He just jumped up there. Yeah, he's like, and then he's, he's making faces at me. <sighs> I'm sorry, Borat? What? Uh, go see Borat? I don't even know anymore. I just so I just gave up. I just gave up There's on the so entire show. So many good show. moments in this show. I mean, yeah. we're just it's this place. stuff happens. You it's know, it's the mystique of the Hastings. You can't plan it. The, it look at the happens. selection it's of life. stuff. I'm looking. Well, anyway, uh, we never did get to mention K Fed divorcing. Like, we actually listened to his album. Did we you know that? We listened to the album, people. We listened to the K Fed album. We jumped on that grenade for you. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, you don't have to listen to it. It's as bad as people say it is. There's one part, and I wish I wish we could get the copyrights to play yeah. this for you. There's a part where I, I, I feel like he is slaying a goat. <laughs> and I can't really explain it, but you hear, you hear a, sword a sword come out. Ching! <laughs> and you're like, what was that all about? <laughs> and of course, like the first song, the first song, the first track's all like, Yo, I me and Britney for together forever. I we never going to break dollar. apart. We got all this money, and I got a fancy car, and I'm in the restaurant buying my own food. <laughs> That's actually word for word the lyrics of the first track of K Fed's <laughs> album. Oh, I just, oh man, I don't remember much of it, but it, it's definitely funny. I, I have to say, I, I'm really, I enjoyed listening to it. I had a good laugh. I had a really good laugh. I didn't laugh that hard in a long time. It's especially funny now that you know what happened, well, I guess. When we downloaded it, mm -hmm. legally... Totally legal. <laughs> we, uh, you actually, when you listen to it, uh -huh. it starts to erase your hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a disease. No, not because it's a virus, but because <laughs> it just, quite literally, modern day computers just haven't, aren't progressed enough to handle that amount of garbage <laughs> it's like a bunch of spam it clogs them <laughs> it clogs up the arteries of your computer and deletes stuff oh man that that album is that a good enough uh, recommendation of an album right there i think that is, that is. pretty good th all right you're gonna what you're about to watch is from last week's episode but it's uh, kind of a repeat some would say an encore presentation but it's actually just us being lazy so yeah let's put it out there PS3 versus Wii, uh, release parties at Walmart in Georgia.